Welcome to my ongoing Victron MPP charge controller project. At this point in the project, I have programmed the ESP32 that is connected to the MPPT to transmit the data over Wi-Fi to other remote devices. Here the meter on the left is connected to the MPPT and the readings are transmitted over its personal Wi-Fi to the receiver unit on the right. Each remote device will display the data in real time from the MPPT and update it every second and up to 20 receiver units can display the data. The send unit and the receiver units are built exactly the same, only the code is different, as well as the connection wires to the Victron charge controller. The instructions and the code for this project are available from the Hackster website given in the description. Right, this is the the sketch for the send unit. This is what you need to compile and flash to the ESP connected to the MPPT. You need in the same folder you need to put in the header file called Victron Energy H. You need that because that's the image file that it it looks for in this line here. It, uh, it also adds the headers for the display, the ESP now and the Wi-Fi. It makes them objects in this line here. The, the display, the Victron routine to look at the, which is actually connected to serial two on the ESP32. And there's a meter widget that it also initializes. The amps in this in this instance, I'm using a 120 uh, MPPT charge controller, which is 20 amps is the amps. Now, if you're using a 110 or 15, 20, 30, 35 or 50, you change that number and also change it on the receiver. This is the send. You need to change it to the same number on the receiver. That's to, that's for, to give the scale of the meter that, that's on the display. It has to be the correct scale. These are the variables for the panel voltage, panel power, your battery voltage, and your load current. There's, these are the the variables for to store them as them readings as strings, in which we send it to the over ESP to the slave unit, the receivers. We send the buffer, so we have to convert the strings to a buffer. So we've we've declared the buffer. We we have a, something called a bool, which is the send, which is either true or false. This is to check whether the any of the meter the readings have changed, and if 
if none of the readings have changed, it doesn't do, it doesn't send anything at all. There's a lot of the time, say at night, when we have no, no input or output and nothing changes at all, and it's not going to send any information um, over, over Wi-Fi at that particular point if there's nothing that's changed at all. The, this is a routine for the to find the MAC address of the receiver and this is the routine to send the string over ESP. We send this routine the string and it'll send it as over ESP now and that's that's all we have of the ESP now routine. This is a setup part which initializes a screen the MPPT routine, the Wi-Fi and the ESP and we set the screen rotation to the one is rotated once clockwise I think I think it's clockwise anyway it puts it in 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 the position it's being a 200 by 240 by 240 screen you could have it in any any one of four positions horizontal or vertical two horizontals you can even have it upside down depending on how you've set your screen up and that's the rotation we then push the image to the screen and uh, which is that image of the victron and we and then we wait four seconds I'm waiting for seconds because all this needs to initialize basically before we, we start running things. Then it fills it with black, it sets the text size to 1 and then draws the screen. This draws the screen set, which is set to your amps values that you've initialized before 10, 15, 20, 30, 35. 50 and um, that'll set the the whole screen up from if it's 20 which is the default value at the beginning it goes from minus 20 to 0 and then to plus 20 they're the amps that you you're about to receive and um, the needle will be vertical uh, at 0 and and all the way to the left at minus 20 and all the way to the right at plus 20. Now you have to tell the meter normally goes from 0 to to 20 so you have to make the the meter up to 40 which is so you need to know the amps which is 20 you double it and then you add 20 to it which gives you a, a reading of minus 20 to plus 20 which is 40 um, but if you add 20 to the meter reading which might be zero it'll be in right smack in the middle and that's why we do that we mm -mm -mm, go down here we draw the screen all the um, all the all the decoration on the screen the panel panel volts the panel watts the battery and the load we just we just write that on this in the positions on the screen then we write the values of them to the screen in the various colors that we've we've set out we could change the colors but they have to have been pre-declared beforehand the the, the four values we then this is the loop that prepares the MPPT to read and if it's ready to read we'll read the meter reading the the reading of the first one is the panel volts it'll read the panel volts check if it's changed if it ha if it hasn't changed it will go to the panel power if it has changed then we will we will rub out the old meter reading and put in the new meter reading and we'll put the send bool value to true that means that when it's 
it, when it gets to the end, it'll check to see if the bool value is true, which is either true or false. That so if it's true, something's actually changed, and we'll send the string over, broadcast it over ESP now. If if nothing, if it does the whole routine, and nothing's changed, then it'll be false, and it won't it won't bother sending anything. It does that with the the panel power? It sends it if it's if the send bool value is is now true. If it's changed, the battery voltage, it'll do it the same thing. Rub it out and put the new value in. And the load current, now here it looks for the battery current, but it doesn't do anything with it till down here. Which, it looks at the battery current, and if it's changed, it'll it'll update the the meter. The 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 meter needle. And and put the 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 flag the the flag value of send, which is a bool, a boolean logic flag, and then after it's done all that, it'll it'll check the value of the flag. If it's true, it'll send it to it'll make strings out of all the values that it's collected, change it into a, a character array, and then broadcast it, and that's what it does every second. <laughs> Which is quite uh, it's quite a, an interesting program, but that it'll send it regardless of whether anything is actually receiving it or not. So don't uh, don't think that you have to send it to something. It'll send it regardless of whether anything is actually receiving it. And that's the 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 send routine. This is the receiver sketch for compilation for the receiving unit to receive the information from the descending unit which is attached to the MPPT. This is for the standalone unit. It's, a, it's basically the same as the sending unit but it gets this information to print to to send to the screen from the the Wi-Fi. The first we need to um, to have the header file for the image in the same folder. You find it online with and just put the same header file in the receiver folder and the sender folder before you compile it because it it just shows the the image on the screen when you boot up. The amps have to be the same amps as the sending amps, which are the same amps, the maximum amps that your MPPT can can handle. Um, mine's at 150, no, 120, sorry. <laughs> Mine was 120. But the values you can have are 10, 15, 20, 30, 35 or 50. Now you need to know the maximum amperage of your unit to have the meter needle in the middle. Because um, the, the meter needle goes from 0 to the maximum amperage that you can, you can put into it. But we need our meter needle in the middle because we can have a discharge. So we have you double that and add twenty I add twenty to it, which actually gives you the a maximum value of twenty and a minimum value of minus twenty uh, discharge. This is interesting. The all this is all the same that except for this bit here. <laughs> which is, it tells, this is a Boolean logic, which is actually true or false. It should actually tell you, you set to, to 
true over here if it's received any information if it hasn't received any information it doesn't do anything at all it doesn't waste time using old information it just waits for information to come in which is here which is the it goes to this point when information is being sent and it will it will put a variable a character array called buffer it will fill that with the message that is sent which is in, important because after all this which is the same as the send it, the the information for the panel voltage is in the buffer now um, characters north to five which is which is north and five <laughs> which is five characters <laughs> is the the first five characters is the panel voltage and if it's changed it'll it'll rub out the old one and put in the new one you might have just one readings that's changed say the the battery voltage might change but it checks to see if any other any other um, reading has changed and it'll it'll it knows that something has changed because it's the sent um, value would be true and it sets it to false and then does the true routine uh, the the panel power is between 5 and 10 characters 5 to 10 the the battery voltage of characters 10 to 15 in the string the buffer uh, the load current is 15 to 20 characters in the buffer and the battery current is anything after 20 which I probably is is five characters but I it might be six I don't know <laughs> it doesn't really matter it's just uh, anything after 20 including 20 is the battery current and it works quite well you might find that's that's how it works anyway you'll find that on the meter you'll have a little tiny um, value in the corner the left hand corner at the bottom it's actually the value of uh, the battery current with added with with 20 added to it this doesn't add 20 to it because it's already been added before it's sent it because you can't send a, a negative flow number <laughs> that would be that'd be really difficult to so i've added 20 to it to before i sent it they find a little character in the bottom of the of the display of the needle display is actually the value of battery current with 20 added to it 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 doesn't mean anything but I, there's no way i can actually change it it's part of the the routine to the, the widget routine which which i'm not going to change because it it's actually available on the internet as a routine and you'd have to rewrite it to change it so but it's it's not really worth changing so that's that's the the receiver uh, sketch